So I recommend doing all of this on a Sunday if you start school on a Monday. Now we'll get into detail about that later. You can let the deep conditioner sit in your head for around 30 minutes to an hour while you do something like schoolwork. Fun fact, I'm a college student and all my classes are online so really I don't have to do any of this. I'm just doing it for y'all because I promised y'all back to school videos a whole year ago. So I know I'm a whole year late but it's alright. So while the deep conditions in my head, I thought I would kind of break down what I'm doing. So let's just say you start school on the 10th, which is a Monday. You want to have your whole wash day routine set on Sunday. And then on the 10th through 11th, Monday and Tuesday, all you have to do is refresh your hair. On the 12th, which is what that Wednesday will be, that is for like athletes who are into sports and they have practice every day. Um, in between the week on that Wednesday, you will co-wash. That's what CW stands for. And then on the following Sunday, you repeat the whole process. Rinse, wash, and repeat basically. All right, y'all, so here's what I've been doing lately. I've been rinsing out half of my deep conditioner. So I will rinse out half of it using cold water, and then I will spray my hair with more water. And this really keeps my hair moisturized for the whole week. If you guys have never tried it, I recommend you to try it at least once. No, leaving deep conditioner in your hair will not make your hair fall out. It's a myth. Just try it, y'all. I promise you it'll make a difference. So the next product I'm using is the Silicone Free Miracle Styler Leave-In Treatment from Shea Moisture. This stuff is fire, so I'm using this on top of the curl and hibiscus conditioner. Um, I just like to use that because I really like the way it makes my hair feel before I go in with my styling products. So I'm using that regular conditioner as a leave-in and then I'm using this leave-in on top of this. So just note that I'm, use I'm basically using three conditioners. They're a little bit of that deep conditioner, the regular conditioner, and now a leave-in. For my first actual styling product, I'm going to be using the Curl Enhancing Smoothie. And this, I'm only focusing it on the back of my hair. This stuff is super thick and I already have a whole bunch of product on my hair so I don't need a lot. The reason why I'm using so many products is because I want to keep my hair moisturized and to keep it easily manageable for the whole week. This next product is a hydration styling gel and it's from the 100% Virgin Coconut Oil line. This product was not a thing a year ago basically. I think they just came out with this product and I've been using it for three weeks ever since they sent it to me basically and it's one of my favorites. It has a light to medium hold so it's going to give you a little bit of a crunch when your hair dries but literally you can just scrunch it out and your hair will be left really soft and fluffy. The last thing I like to do for the styling process is take my Denman brush. I typically always do this. I'll take my Denman brush and just comb out the very front of my hair, the curls that will frame my face. You can kind of see how they've separated themselves from the rest of my hair. That's what frames my face. So I'll just take those and brush them through for extra definition. If you're doing this routine on a Sunday, like I recommend, then you can just let your hair air dry throughout the day. Like you can do whatever you have to do around the house and just let your hair air dry. And then when it's done, your hair should be very moisturized and very defined. As you can see, this is what my hair is right now. Using this concoction of hair products, these are probably my favorite results. This is probably my favorite wash and go that I've had yet. And the best part about it is when I did this same routine last week, I literally went three days without doing anything to my hair. I just slept with it, woke up, took it out of my little bandana that I will show you guys in a minute, and I was out the door. 
the last thing I like to do, and this is optional for guys, um, when my lineup isn't exactly a fresh lineup, I will take some pomade. I always do this, and I will just run it along the front of my hairline, and I will take this little brush. It was sent to me a while back, and I just use that to brush down my hairline. I focus a lot of the pomade on the front of my hairline, so my hairline will stay in place. And then whatever else is left, I just kind of brush it throughout the rest of my taper. Alright, so how I pull my hair up, when the day is about over, I'll pull my hair up in one of three ways. I use this scrunchie, I highly recommend you guys to use a scrunchie instead of a hair tie, you can get it from Ulta. This is the most common way that I would sleep with my hair. I don't have my silk pillow anymore, so I don't really sleep with my hair up like that anymore. The second way is almost the same, except you're pulling all of your hair up, so it's the top back portion of your head, so you'll have room to sleep without messing up your hair. The last way, which is what I've been doing most recently, is I've been taking this little bandana. Um, I think it's a bandana. If I'm wrong, then you guys will correct me. I'm pretty sure of it. But I take it and I just pull it up. I pull my hair up. And as you can see, my hair is still exposed, but you can see I have room on the sides of my face where I can sleep without my curls basically being crushed. That is what I've been using nonstop recently. So after all of this, let's just say it's Monday morning, um, what you're going to do is just take your hair out of one of the three ways that you had it wrapped up the night prior and just take like a spray or something. Honestly, you can use just water and with all the product that you use literally the day before, you won't need to put product in there. Just spritz it a couple times and just kind of shake it in place and literally you're out, you're out the door. I used to be late for school because of my hair, but I started doing this in second semester and doing my hair, it was literally a breeze. If you guys enjoyed this video, then give me a thumbs up. Comment below if you're going to try this routine out. I really recommend you guys to try it out. I think this is the best uh, routine I've come up with so far. So yeah, I just want to thank you guys for watching. And I will see y'all in my next video. Talk to me, baby.